Hey, Steve, anything new in the paper this morning? Just the usual. Sometimes people can be really dumb. Know what I mean? I sure do. No, seriously. You know what I mean. Because as you know, I have no ego. You know what I mean? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Mean. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan. And that little bit of silliness was the signature of today's dynamic duo, Jack Burns and Avery Schreiber, better known as Burns and Schreiber, who turned a gift for lightning-fast banter into a legendary career. Avery Schreiber was born in Chicago in 1935 and began training as a stage actor before joining the Second City in 1961. Boston-born Jack Burns came to comedy first as a disc jockey in Fort Worth, Texas, where he formed a short-lived teaming with George Carlin. After Burns and Carlin split, Jack headed to Chicago and the Second City. At the Second City, Burns met Schreiber and a legendary comedy duo was born. Their improv roots led to most of their comedy being sketch-based, including their most famous routine in which Jack's annoying conventioneer gets into a cab driven by Avery. It's comedy perfection. Here's a sample. I bet you there are eight million stories out there. That's probably the crossroad of a million private lives. Broken heart for every light bulb in the great white way. And look at them buildings. Them buildings are like, uh, they're like stainless steel fingertips stretching their way toward the northeast skyline in a never-ending panorama of grace and majesty. What are you, some kind of poet? I used to write for the Newman Club newsletter. Newman Club, is that a B'nai B'rith organization? That routine, and others like it, made Burns and Schreiber a mainstay on TV variety shows beginning in the late 1960s. In 1973, they earned their own summer replacement series, and while it didn't catch on, it was filled with great examples of Burns and Schreiber's unique style. I could care less whether we call it the uh, Burns and Schreiber Comedy Hour or the Schreiber and Burns Comedy Hour. Really? Really. All right, then we'll, uh, we'll call it the Schreiber and Burns Comedy Hour. No, we won't. No. Uh, well, the rules of comedy. The rules of comedy? Yeah, the rules of comedy governing comedy teams states, and I quote, all comedy teams are billed alphabetically. Uh-huh. Unless it's an alphabetical tie such as Wheeler and Woolsey and Cheech and Chong, then they're billed in ethnic order. <laughs> Sensing their time had come and gone, the team split in the mid-70s. Jack Burns went on to a long career, including a stint as a writer and performer on ABC's Fridays. He also served as one of the voices of the crash test dummies in the 1980s traffic safety videos. Avery Schreiber took occasional film and TV roles, the most visible being the chip-crunching spokesman for Doritos tortilla chips in the 1980s. You can find out more about Burns and Schreiber and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening, and until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody.